Hello and welcome to the agenda. This week we're in Brussels, but next week we'll see us back in Strasbourg for the last plenary before the summer break. Here's a few of the highlights. Started things off is the Federalist, the man that David Cameron couldn't kick to the curb. Commission President-elect Jean-Claude Juncker. This week he's been making his case to MEPs in Brussels. His vision includes making Europe number one in the renewable energy market, strengthening foreign policy and just in case David Cameron felt a bit left out, he says he's open to negotiating Britain's relationship with the EU. Mr Juncker makes a final speech to MEPs at the plenary followed by a vote to rubber stamp his anointment on Tuesday. Over to TTIP, the US-EU trade and investment partnership that the Commission wants to use to boost economic recovery in Europe. Behind closed doors, negotiations have been taking place to try and get the deal off the ground. But could the new parliament put a spanner in the works? Despite guarantees to protect public services, critics aren't convinced. Since before the elections, right and left-wing parties have talked of blocking the deal. MEPs will debate its merits following a statement from the Commission on Tuesday. No job, no hope. The exact figure on the number of young people unemployed across Europe may not be something committed to memory, but their problems can't be escaped. MEPs are set to debate and pass a resolution on new measures to get young people moving in the right direction. Could a European employment insurance scheme be an idea for the future? Find out more on Wednesday. How much time you get off for maternity leave depends on the country you live in. In Belgium, for example, you get 15 weeks off at 85% of your salary. Over in the UK, it's 52 weeks and up to 90% of your salary. Harmonisation was called for to get better rights for mothers and fathers. But on Tuesday, there'll be a debate on the withdrawal of the Maternity Leave Directive. So what went wrong? Apparently, it costs too much for member states. See what happens in the debate on Tuesday. And a quick mention of Iraq and Ukraine. With violence deepening in both countries, MEPs will sit down to discuss what they can do to help. Find out more next week. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.